This video is a mess. I've been working on it on and off since January. And I'm really hoping the month you're watching this in is May. I've been recording segment by segment to be efficient. So I got 30 minutes fully edited. And then there's a new development, which just absolutely donks and swivels this completed portion already. And it isn't one of those cutesy things where I can be like, Oh, editor's note, actually what I meant to say, no, I keep learning new things to the point where I'm sitting here like the videos are wrong. I can't put this out, but I'm gonna. I decided instead of rewriting history, I'm just gonna take you on the same ride that I went on. So remember, you will be taking in information as I took it in. This is now our story. Also, if I get something wrong at like a minute 35, you can't get mad at me. Because of the structure, I might clear that up at an hour 35. That's what we in the biz call character development. <sighs> Please enjoy the longest video I've ever made. There are a lot of ways to make money on the internet, especially when you have an audience. Most of them socially accepted. Sponsorships, merchandise, Patreon. For example, this video sponsored. If that bothers you, that's weird. We can talk about it later. But there's this emerging gray area of creator revenue that I've started to notice on TikTok. I have a lot of angles to discuss here. And if I want to do this the right way, there's just a lot to talk about in general. You see the timestamp, you knew what you were in for. So let me just quickly jump you in. I often go to the comment section of TikToks because sometimes they're funnier than the video itself. And just so you know, just like YouTube, TikTok gives the creator the ability to pin a comment right at the top of the comment section for Odyssey. And usually it's just like the creator's favorite comment or the creator's saying, hey, follow my Instagram. But nowadays, it's not too surprising for me to see a pinned comment along the lines of, put five bucks in and made 500 playing that bingo game on your page. The players all suck. It's too easy. Or, how many times can I do those surveys in your bio? I made $200 already from it. Hmm, I'm sure you did. Chinese muffins 25? Sure you did. I mean, I wanna make $200 too. All I gotta do is answer some surveys? Or better yet, play some bingo? I'm great at bingo. The game that's purely chance. I'm sure there are a lot of thoughts going through your head. You know, you have a lot of questions like, what is this? Why is the creator promoting it? And is making all this money as easy as all these comments are making it seem? Well, we will be answering that and much more today. So feel free to gather yourself something delicious, maybe your drink or two, I don't judge. Here a shot, I don't care. I'll join you. Hell, even get yourself some free DoorDash, because that's also a thing in this pin comment debacle. Life's just easy, guys, you've been doing it wrong. I'm gonna need this more than you think. Please enjoy this somewhat deep dive into the gray area of TikTok money. Now YouTube money, though, that's a different ball game. Let's pay some bills. Hey, so this video was ironically dumped by the original sponsor I had. They claimed that the video was too good. What happened to this country? I am very happy to announce that this video is now sponsored by Alien. Fellow content creator Elvis the Alien's indie streetwear clothing company. How poetic. He's got some of the best artists in the world continuously working on coming out with new creative designs. Here are a few of my favorite current pieces that he has in stock, which by the way, most items are never restocked. So just something to keep in mind. I had actually recorded some footage months ago because we had chit chatted about possibly working together at some point. And I gotta say this, this jacket alone is insane. The detail, the quality, the compliments I got wearing it. Thanks for that ego boost. As soon as I got my package, it was abrasively apparent how much care is put into these products. So I urge you all support Alien, support Elvis. I don't know how long this video would have been delayed without their help, but regardless, get this, you can save a whopping 20% using code Mr. GG and get free shipping off any orders over $100. Alienclothing.com, the link will absolutely be below. Promo code Mr. GG, 20% off. And thank you, Alien, for sponsoring this video. Quick disclaimer before we begin here. This is not meant to demonize any of the creators that have worked with this company or companies alike. For that reason, you will see their names censored throughout the video, at least the creators. I'm not here to sick the dogs on anybody, at least not quite yet. I've made questionable business decisions. By the end of this video, I'm gonna try and make it all make sense. Whether those creators regret it or not, that's just not the point. So, 
TikTok pinned comments, huh? New meta? Well, the formula for this is quite simple. As a prominent TikTok creator, you are assigned the task to bait in audience members to believe they too can make hundreds of dollars with ease, usually through random testimony, leaving this little breadcrumb trail to the link in your bio, which leads them to a reward site. I'll explain what that is in a bit. Let's break this down piece by piece for what we got so far. First things first, who the fuck are these people in the comments? Are they paid actors? Are they not a paid actor? Quotation marks. Or are they just really satisfied customers who are awfully descriptive in their throwaway comment on TikTok? Well, I don't have a definitive answer, but I can tell you they are most likely just random burner accounts that work with these sites or their employees, made by employees, some shit. I went to their profiles, most of them were just private profiles, no videos, and it was not shocking. And I don't know if you've ever seen that video of the guy who won the lottery and he was reenacting it on the news and then he won the lottery again. I just won 250,000. <laughs> I'm not joking. That shit's crazy, right? Yeah. But that also doesn't happen ever, so... <laughs> it was not shocking to see these profiles' comments pinned on more than one TikTok. That's right, they were fucking cleaning house. There were some outliers, like this random verified page, Humoricals? Humoricals? Which, if you type that name on TikTok, you can do it right now at home. You will just run into multiple creators who have coincidentally, graciously blessed Humoricals with these rewards. Humoricals is cashing out. What a lucky meme page, or whatever the fuck that is. I requested to follow them a week ago so I could see what they are. I, I guess I'm just still in that stuffy Humoricals queue. So the Humoricals, if you're watching, I'd appreciate uh, the accept on that so I can watch your funny memes. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, the pin comment routine is a setup. We get that. Now, quick check-in, is there any issue so far? Kind of? Morally, this is a bit disingenuous. And in all fairness, I would say all forms of advertisement are manipulative to a certain degree, right? In this situation, you are, as a viewer, indirectly being persuaded with false testimonies of people saying they won money using the creator's link in bio. Not cool, but let's play devil's advocate. Can this somewhat be in the same vein as a creator on YouTube saying, I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends for the past two weeks nonstop. Maybe, there's an argument there, but one of them is to get you to download a free mobile game with not really any too tall promises behind it. And the other is to get you roped into a reward site off the vague promise of hundreds of dollars gained with relative ease. This, this, this is the Philip DeFranco show, leave, leave it up to you. <laughs> Whatever you guys think. Morals aside, that, that pussy shit. This is also, Legal? Question mark? Vine boom? Not the business itself, but does this not count as a sponsored post? As you know, or as you should know, if you take money to promote something online, you have to disclose that. Fucking somewhere. Just throw in a hashtag ad in the, in the corner with small text. You could probably get away with it. But yeah, none of the posts I have seen have a hashtag ad or I'm sponsored by, or they even acknowledge it beyond just replying to the pinned comment with like a handshake emoji. Like, yeah, you're welcome. Nothing. And I'm not trying to dry snitch or anything like that, but this is feeding grounds for the FTC. I would assume. I'm not an expert, so let's also consider some things. Maybe there's some loopholes at play here. I wouldn't call this type of rewards website a traditional sponsor, but regardless, it shouldn't matter. It could be a website that sells used condoms with hot sauce. Promotion is promotion. I guess another debate might be, well, the creator isn't actually the one promoting it. It's this rando comment promoting it, which that argument's kind of dead on arrival because the sneaky bastard still has the link in his bio promoting the website as I'm sure he was instructed to do and he was paid to do. And that argument also goes out the window because in some of the comments, they'll say shit like, bro, I just got my 500 after finishing the questions from that thing on your site. I know it's sponsored, but appreciate it. They're ratting themselves out? I told you there was gonna be a lot. Grab another drink. Ooh. Now, this is a dumb question, but how are we sure that these creators are actually getting paid to do this? Well, after digging in and doing a handful of research, uh, they are. My research was 
being a fucking YouTuber. <laughs> they're not pinning a comment. They're not putting a link in their bio for free. I don't care how business deficient you are as a creator. There is no way with that size audience, because every TikToker I saw with one of those pinned comment thingies had at least 600K followers. You could be the stupidest creator on the planet. You're taking something. What I am personally interested about is how they get paid. My guess is a normal flat rate. That means just a lump sum that is agreed upon. It could be CPM, but that really wouldn't make a difference anyway. Or there could be monetary incentives for signups, which is rare, at least YouTube side, but we are dealing with a different beast here. And I will be very transparent with my feelings at this point. I don't like this promotion as is. But if I come to figure out that this is paid off of how many people you get over to that site to sign up for that mess, I don't know why, but it just comes off even more grimy on the creator side. And usually I wouldn't even assume that. I would just think flat rate. But the only reason I even include that possibility of incentives is because of this one creator I came across who promotes this in his TikTok caption, which is peculiar because you can unpin a comment, which creators have done after their contractual period is over and then they remove the link from their bio, I've seen it. But you can't change a caption as far as I know. That TikTok is forever tainted. And looking at the business model so far, it doesn't make sense. Why in the fuck would you do that? Unless you were to gain something from people getting caught in that net down the line. Unless you have this long form contract with this company where you're like, I'm just gonna leave this shit in my bio for a year. So why not push it as much as I possibly can? And I feel like also it could avoid some backlash because on some of the people's pinned comments, you'll see people immediately going under that comment and saying, this is a scam, don't bother, and it scares people away. On the caption, people are probably not gonna fucking write a comment about it. And if they do, they're not gonna find it. So, 200 IQ? I also saw some creators elect to reply to the fake comment on screen promoting the company, because you can do that on TikTok, you can reply to a comment and it'll just have the comment there the entire TikTok, which is also permanent. So this just leads me to think one of two things. One, there are definitely monetary incentives to sign people up because of these, in my opinion, more aggressive pushes. Or two, they're stupid. And the company offered them multiple ways to promote the site and they for some reason chose the most permanent and damning. Which, I think these guys are dumb. I don't think they're stupid. At this point, I just need more information. So I did what any YouTuber would do and I abused my reach <laughs> to try and talk to some YouTubers with large TikTok followings to see if they could maybe give me some more info. And I even managed to talk to a few prominent homegrown TikTok creators about this. But before we speak about that, let me just tell you what the site is because you need to know. Now I've seen this packaged in different ways, so you might see slight variations of this, but my main target is up level rewards by flash rewards. And I am gonna give you an unfortunate spoiler here. This site, as far as I could see, is not a scam. I know, ooh. <laughs> However, this entire process, including the influencer marketing, is dubious to say the least. If you're not a vocab buff, that means Kind of fucked. Here's one TikTok creator's link tree once you click on his bio. He's running a Black Friday sale on this shit. Play games for money. $750 Cash App. $500 DoorDash. $750 Amazon. Parentheses. Easy. That's weird. Why is that? Okay. Sheen gift card. This one doesn't even have a price. But it's easy, whoa. Get a PS5. Easy. A sentence that has never been said. $50 rope. $50? Editor, pl play some Among Us music. Right there. Uh, and then highlight the, the, the Roblox. Put, put a silhouette of the Among Us character. Over it, yeah. Yeah, that's the one right there, officer. <laughs> that's the one. And of course, iPhone 13. Easy! So I wanted to figure out what the hell the difference is between easy, not easy. So I clicked on the Cash App, immediately get this prompt, answer a few simple questions to get $750 sent to your Cash App. That sounds like a fucking bargain, you kidding me? Wait, this sounds easy. But it didn't have the easy tag. Yo, what's going on here? So I proceed to answer three meaningless questions, in my opinion. And then I'm prompted to give my email, but I don't really want to give my email. I mean, I can, 
and give me my cash app. You know what? I bet this $750 Amazon one is the move anyway. I should have just gone straight to easy. I'm a fucking tryhard. I'm sorry. All right, let's see the prompt for this one. Thousand dollars? That's false advertising in a positive way? Oh, look, it's the same exact three questions. Email. You know what? I'd rather have a PS5 anyways. I heard those are pretty hard to get. Let me just... Just let me... Hmm. Let me check if this one works. Oh, it does. Okay. So then this one. No? Okay. So I went back to Cash App. I put in a burner email and now it's time to get excited. Whoa! That generator is generating, baby! Whoa! No. What do you need all this for? Let's see if I can cheese them. My name's Emilio Bones. This is a cool fucking name. Uh, I'll, I'll put my P.O. box, I guess. And here's not my phone number, but I'm still gonna blur it because people are weird. I just put in Wendy Goon's phone number. Don't tell him. Am I being hacked? Oh, it took it. Oh, oh, it actually took it. That's weird. Why the fuck would it take my P.O. box? Thanks. Look out for a welcome email shortly. I never did get that email. And it is here that we get our first look at our thousand dollar Amazon roadmap. Hey, you you remember those those three simple questions that we had ap agreed upon previously? Prize. You got a ways to go, you greedy fuck. What, you thought we were just handing out thousands of dollars for you to do nothing? We are, it's called sponsorships. Hey man, I thought I did the survey. Was that a warm up? Did I pre-game a survey? This must be the quick survey. The one the guy was selling. Quick survey, 750 cash app, easiest pie. Okay, have you ever gone to Disneyland or Disney World? Oh, I always get the two confused. <laughs> Just me? <laughs> oh. So oddly enough, you may have noticed that the survey is optional. You can skip the survey down here. If you're not too vigilant, you might miss it. But that's how these dickheads run things. They make you think you have to do certain things when you do not. But I wanted to see the questions, so I didn't skip. Let's see these thought provoking questions. How often, when did you last, bank how, mobile games? Well, I do play a pretty popular mobile RPG. How much do I make, kids, racism, religion? This is a long ass survey. Six and a half hours later. Okay, we're about halfway now. Geico, Geico. 97% of our customers are... That's not a question. Cardi, no. Also gross. Broom, her, am I just being advertised for the second half of the survey? The survey? <laughs> Excuse me? What best describes my health insurance? Oh, okay, I mean, that that's a normal question. But what's all this fine print here? By selecting either of these, I expressly request and consent to receive calls and text from all of these fuck faces? No! This survey could fucking bite me, skip. No, I do not want a new deductible. By the way, this next screen is the type of shit I'm talking about. Because when you see a checkbox and a continue or next button underneath, we all automatically connect those dots and assume we have to check the box to move on. It's a quick reactionary thing. But in this case, you do not. If you do, you are consenting to more marketing calls and text. Another quick attempt at a gotcha. This site's off to a pissy start. And praise the Amazon gods, we have cruised through the survey and optional offers. Well, what progress. Keep in mind, you could have just skipped this entirely, so it's not impressive. I wonder if the last stop deals is just as easy. Yeah, go ahead and grab yourself another drink because we are now truly at the crux of it all. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Jill. Now this is what Flash Rewards is. Let me reiterate. Not a scam. As far as I can see. But there is a reason I am holding your hand through each and every dip and showing you every different way that this has been advertised to what it actually is. Follow instructions to earn your thousand dollar reward. Next step, complete one deal on this level to continue. They've almost made it like a game. Isn't that cute? Aww. So, what the fuck are you looking at? This is where you actually start working towards your thousand dollar Amazon gift card. Yeah, that thing you got promised two hours ago? So it's telling me to complete a deal on level one to continue. So, here are a list of brands that Flash Rewards works with and it is now your prerogative, after coming all this way, to claim deals. I love that wording, by the way. Claim your deal. 
It's almost like you're gaining something. What that means is basically download one of these apps, play one of these games for a certain amount of time, sign up for this subscription or trial. Some of these you will even have to pay to fully claim that deal. But it does warn you about that in all fairness. It gives you a choice. You can choose free ones. There's a bunch. And you can see some of the brands here. They're not exactly small potatoes. I mean, they work with Uber Eats, Hulu. It's not just Vikings, War of Clans, and or Throne, King of Battle, or those fucking buzzword games or some shit. But your list will differ from mine. That's what the survey was for. To help curate brands that might appeal to you. You played yourself. Here's a whole list of all the companies that they work with. And this isn't a slight at any of the companies shown. Flash Rewards is basically bringing over customers and they take a cut for their service. That business model makes sense to me. Uh, but once again, please remember how we got here from TikTok to website and what we were told. Let's claim a deal. I chose this gaming app match to win. It's one of those semi grimy apps where you can win real cash. And it makes it seem like just by sheer skill, you will win a significant amount of money. You won't. The only way you'll hit good money is if you win one of their in-game sweepstakes, which good luck. <laughs> The game is abhorrent, spams you to hell and back, has you watch abrasive ads nonstop. It's gross. And it also took me about an hour to fucking reach level 11 to complete this one deal. Hence why there's no B-roll. My screen recording didn't save, I ran out of storage. But I was the one that chose that game. So be it. So, I've completed one deal from level one. Now I just need to complete one more deal from level two. Okay, that's easy enough. Let me see, slightly different roster of brands here. Uh, I'd prefer to save time, not money at this point, because that was exhausting. Let me just download this other scummy gaming app and just make an in-game purchase of at least $3. Okay, minimum is five. Shocker, there we go, take my soul, thank you very much. I mean, I've completed both deals, so I think we should count four words to say, boys. Say it with me, come on. Show me the money. You guys aren't dumb, right? Grab another drink. I'm about to get real terms and servicey on your ass. Now there are a total of five levels of brand deals you can quote unquote claim. The more deals you complete, the more money you can make. So just for reference, those thousand dollars that have been waved in front of your face since the beginning of this journey, yeah, you got a ways to go. With the two deals I've claimed, totaling about a little over an hour in time and five dollars out of my account, I am officially eligible for, drum roll please. Throw a vine boom. Another vine boom. Five dollars. Yeah, that's right. A five dollar Amazon reward. Through all my hard work, I've earned a refund. And I'm happy to say it was all worth it. <laughs> oh, piss in my mouth, please. Listen, at this point, we're on the same wavelength, right? We've done all this work. We've been promised this reward. I'm not leaving here without real money. You promised me a stack. I'm not coming back with a fucking pussy ass $5 reward. What the fuck am I getting on Amazon for five bucks? What's next? Okay, I need to complete three more deals on level three. I can do that. And if I do that, I'm eligible for $100. Oh shit, that's a jump. I wonder why. Let's take a look at some of those level three deals. Sign up for ESPN Plus, that's six bucks. I can eat that, I'm, I'm gonna get a hundred dollars. That's easy, pretend I'm just getting 94, let's do it. Boom, one deal, claimed. Play board games, I love board games. Fuck anybody up in Monopoly, confirmed. Complete level 20 to earn credit. Complete level 20 to earn credit towards your reward? Level 11 in that other game took me an hour, and it took longer and longer each level you went by. And it was also just genuinely becoming more difficult too, which led to more losses, so I had to repeat levels, and in turn, the game kept nudging me to make in-app purchases to make the game easier. That sounds stressful as all hell. Wait a minute. I knew they wouldn't leave me hanging. Oh, yo, dude, Flash Rewards is giving me a secret Hack, secret hack alert. Secret hack alert. This 007 game. Buy the bundle package two for 199 to level faster. 
That's not really a secret hack. Hey, you want to reach level 100 in the Fortnite Battle Pass? Yeah, buy the Battle Pass <laughs> and then buy the... What? What else is there? Bingo! I love bingo! Like I said, reach level 50 and... 50?! Secret hack, buy the 5,000 coin pack for 499 level faster? I don't even, I don't even know how much faster I would level for me to go and download that app. There's no specifications at this point. So how do I know? It doesn't give you a timeline for these games. Like, oh, this should take you like 10 minutes if you buy it, 20 if you don't. There's nothing. So I would just have to fucking download the app and take a guess. No, these games are gonna drag the soul out of me. Buy four bags of coffee, 29.88. I like coffee. I It'll save me the time, I guess, but is there anything cheaper? Dragon City, level 21, secret hack, fuck off. $20 to change lives. Okay, that's not too bad. I'd be helping people, I think. Let's do that. I can eat that for the greater good. Boom. Now I'm just, uh, I'm getting basically $74. That's, that's good. Now I just need one more. Hulu, I already have Hulu, so I don't think I can do that. $20 to help provide meals, helping people still. But at that point, mm, my promise reward is basically cut in half. Which kind of sucks. Spades, play 10 games. I imagine they're long as shit. 24.95 credit report slots. Collect at least one bonus every day for 14 days. Are you fucked? 32.95 meal kit, $80 CBD, 64.99 Fubo, level 15 cash tournament, alpha brain, 34.95, 26.89. Let's pause. You may be thinking right now, hey, I get what you're saying, but I mean, I can still win $50, it seems like. Which I'm sure you can. Remember, it's not a scam, but let me quickly tell you from where we came if you truly want that thousand dollar amazon gift card you would have to complete those three levels on level three in addition to what i've already done then claim five more deals on level four then claim 15 more deals on level five that's the kicker that's when they got you by the balls and you can't do a damn thing about it. You guys probably saw some deals like ESPN Plus. Oh, that's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. It's $6. But that's the thing. If you want the real money, the money you were baited in with, guess what? You will exhaust those freebie options quickly and be indirectly forced to buy that $80 CBD, to buy that fucking $35 alpha brain with Joe Rogan's face on it. By the end of it, you will complete a total of 25 deals. But what is that gonna cost? That matters. So let's be somewhat generous here and say we finished with five options that were just absolutely free. Didn't charge us a dime. Let's say for the 20 deals remaining, we average out the fees to like 25 a deal because that's what it looks like anyway. So after those signups being subjected to ads nonstop, feeding your info everywhere and destroying your inbox, you will have spent real money, $500, to claim a $1,000 Amazon card that only works on fucking Amazon. Now, some of you might think that's worth. Profit is profit, right? They do not make it easy for you to do this on top of everything I just said. They set this up in a very specific way to try and stop you from claiming the big bucks. Let me run down the reasons. To start, and I think this is very important. You better have filled out that first portion accurately. Yeah, you remember that thing that I memed on and where probably most people are still kind of suspicious? Yeah, if your information there does not match your ID verification when you claim your reward, guess what? They can disqualify you from that reward. They can just say, you know what? You're ineligible because your information does not match. So, eat a dick. Your only goal at that point is for leniency or you just raise hell in customer service and hope for the best. Uh, and by the way, yeah, you will need to send this very trustworthy company, your ID and I believe a selfie to claim any reward. So that's fun. Also, something else I've figured out. If you're not signing up with the same information on all these trials and subscriptions, uh, yeah, that doesn't count either. So if you spent $65 on Fubo, but you put in a different email address because you're like, ah, oh, this is gonna be my spam email now. Yeah, that could also declare you ineligible. If they find those uh, mismatches, they could be like, you know what? You're sus. Yeah, no, fuck you. No thousand dollars for you. 
Uh, yeah, also eat a dick, which that's one of those fun things in the fine print. And by the way, no, it hasn't been four weeks since I recorded, shut up. By the way, you have to be at least 18 years old to do so, which is not a crazy request by any means. Of course, you need to be an adult. Although I am side-eyeing the hell out of that Roblox gift card. Just a little weird. What's your demographic on that exactly? 28 year olds with insurance policies, I'm sure. You seem to be doing a lot of advertising on TikTok that has a lot of children on it. Seems like a setup. When you claim a deal, for example, after finishing level 11 on that stupid fucking game, <laughs> that shouldn't exist, you may not immediately get that credit. Why does that matter? Well, for a few reasons. Flash Rewards gives you up to 60 days to complete however many deals you prefer once you've done your first deal. And according to them, it takes three days minimum to verify a trial period. And it can apparently take up to 14 days for some deals to register in general. And I'm not just yanking this info out of my ass. This is from a blog on Smart Wallet, defending Flash Rewards from being labeled as a scam. Keep in mind, and they do disclose this, the Smart Wallet sister website is Flash Rewards, owned by the same parent company, and the author is a Smart Wallet employee. This info is pretty much straight from the source. So continuing on, you know all the trials and subscriptions they offer, right? If you immediately choose to cancel those, as soon as you sign up because you're afraid you're gonna re-up and get charged all this money, uh, yeah, that won't count towards your completed deals. You can't do that. You have to wait until it's verified. How long that is? I don't know. And I'm reading this off the blog, right? They don't give you some cutesy pop-up when you sign up to Hulu, like, hey, don't cancel this right away, because it won't work. The blog suggests, thankfully, set up reminders to cancel near the end of the trial, which I hate that there's not a clear timeline there. Can I cancel 48 hours before, a week before, or do I just have to keep an eye on this whole checkmark thing? The vague language, if you're able to access it at all, is put in place to have you slip up. So imagine you don't know any of that. You sign up for Hulu at level two, cancel the re-up immediately, and because you have to wait to be verified to advance to the next level, you just elect to let the days pass because you're like, well, that check's gonna come soon, I'm sure. But then yeah, two weeks pass by and you call customer service and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you weren't supposed to do that. So now you lost two weeks, stuck at level two, and the clock is ticking. And listen, I can play both sides. Read the fine print. Know what you're getting yourself into. I'm sure the majority of people that have had bad experiences with this were most likely uninformed. But in all fairness, they were probably also likely under the impression of what you advertised. This absolute simplicity and ease for big rewards. You did this. At least that's what you're doing on TikTok. I don't know where the fuck else you market. I've seen one of the TikTok creators also put you in their IG bio, but I'm assuming Flash is just all influencer marketing at this point. You can't go TV, and I doubt traditional Facebook slash IG ads work that well. It has to be completely funneled through influencers. And if this is the type of language that is commonly used to draw people in, you're scummy. And speaking of scummy, this is kind of a big one. How else can they delay you? from trying to get those thousand dollars. Ah, the levels. You are told to complete a certain amount of deals on every level to advance. So you can hit three deals at once on level three, but then you have to wait for them to verify so you can actually advance to level four and get started on those deals. You will not be automatically directed to level four until all of those deals are verified. But what they don't outright tell you is, you don't have to wait to advance. You don't have to do this in order. Like at all. In fact, you can click through all the levels whenever. You might not know that when you're looking at this caption above the grayed out continue button saying, you must complete one deal to continue. And by the way, even if you, you become a curious little kitty cat, and you tap that continue button, it tries to scare you away. Alert, you must complete one deal to continue. Hold on, pal. This big ass go back button, the first thing you see. But you can just click continue again. It's right there below that big ass go back button. And then you can free roam and just complete as many deals as you want in whatever fucking level you want. Which seems like something you might want to bring up at some point to people. Didn't mention that in the fucking blog. I've read this blog like uh, four times already. Yeah, not in there. <laughs> but I'll tell you what is in there. They have a customer testimony on that blog. You know those things we've come to really trust from them at this point? And it is shit like this. That even though there is a healthy debate to be had regarding Flash and their marketing, just has me lean into the fuck you territory. Steve here apparently won $1,000. You can read this 
I'd rather not. He basically just dick rides this company for two paragraphs. But the last sentence is the most, well, most tasty of them all. I'll read it. All in all, I probably spend five to six hours and five to ten dollars completing the offers and filling out the necessary paperwork. Totally worth it. Bull fucking shit, Steve. Bull fucking shit. Don't ever trust a Steve. We already did some vague math but let's be even more lenient. Out of all the deals you have to do for the thousand dollars that Steve got, I will generously give you 10 freebie deals where you did not pay a dime, which means 15 deals left to collect a thousand dollars. I will also give you 10 mobile games on top of that, which I think is around like the total amount of games available. There really isn't that much. Mobile games where you don't need to pay to win, but where you have to grind your dick off. That will also waste you zero dollars, but minimum quadruple those five to six hours that you spewed out. You cannot convince me otherwise. But even with that, five deals left to collect $1,000. Now what? Even if I got you to the cheapest levels that might not even be available to you depending on what you're dealt, there is no possible way that you only spent five to ten dollars on those deals that required payments on two deals i spent an hour of my time and five dollars that expense does not make sense with the time you provided it is hard enough to believe that you only spent five to six hours on this and it is hard enough to believe that you spent only five to ten dollars but both of them this one flash smart wallet whoever the fuck you are is just a straight up lie. And I would love to be disproved. Flash Rewards employee watching right now? Anybody backing up Steve's story? I would love to be disproved. Guide me through the process. We can do it live. I'll stream the fucking thing. I'll sign up for all the bullshit and I want you to hold my hand while I only spend five to six hours with a budget of $10 to win a thousand. I'm sure everybody in my audience wouldn't mind winning a stack in less than the time of their work shift today. Make me like Steve. There's advice put out by the blog as well to make sure to keep any email confirmations through this process, as well as take screenshots of everything you complete, just in case there's glitches. That's their wording, not mine. I think the worst reading something like that because of all the context we already have, but it does make sense. But like I said, they suggest this because of glitches. It's precautionary. But later in the steps where they describe claiming your reward in detail on the blog, one of the steps says, you may be asked to submit your emails of confirmation and and or screenshots of game progress, which now sounds like it's mandatory, but you're not told these things, which adds to these weird breadcrumbs of like ways to deem you ineligible. Also, fun fact, you remember how I was surprised that it took my info in the beginning? I was surprised because it took my PO box, which is weird because a lot of shit doesn't take my PO box on sign up. But anyway, completely unrelated, when I tried to claim my $5 reward, which I've earned. I had to fill out my info again to make sure that I'm the same person living in the same place with the same birthday. The info I signed up with already, it has to match. So I put that very same PO box and now it told me, sorry, we don't accept PO boxes. Ineligible. Why didn't you stop me in the first place, dick? This kind of sus, you set me up to fail. Also, also, you remember those random ass parentheses easy that were on certain rewards? This isn't concrete, but I'm pretty damn confident after re reading some scathing reviews of people who completed deals. I think the reason why Cash App didn't have a parentheses easy was a way to deter people from going that direction with it. Because it looks like nobody's just getting money sent to their Cash App, which is what the reward very much sounds like. Because that's hard to do. That's real money. And per the terms and service, Flash can substitute your reward for a dinky little gift card as long as it's equal to the amount that you earned. So that's probably why it's why it puts it easy around the other things that they can actually deliver on. So there's that. And we're not done with Flash. We are far from done. But as of right now, I wanted more information. I needed more information. So I started messaging a plethora of people that I had DM access to and even put out a tweet looking for large TikTokers to speak with. Some people ignored me. I don't blame them. I didn't exactly jump into their DM like, hey, how's the family? Can I ask you a question about TikTok? So I reached out to five YouTubers ranging from 100K all the way to 1.8 million followers on TikTok. And only one of them had received this type of sponsorship offer in the past. And no, they didn't do it because it seemed 
sketch. It's not crazy to say that. I also messaged seven TikTokers ranging from 300K all the way to 3.5 million followers on TikTok. And three of them had gotten a similar sponsorship offer in the past. One of them who declined the offer told me, quote, the way they make you advertise for them is so corny. I've seen a few of the people I'm following do posts for those companies though, and apparently they make decent money. I was getting closer. I could feel it. But alas, there was a problem. Everyone who had gotten this sponsorship offer could not give me what I wanted, the fucking email which is what I wanted to see. How are they paying the influencer? What are they even telling you in the email? How do they describe flash rewards? But the very last TikToker that I spoke to told me this. I've had two different companies hit me up before, but I never ended up doing it because even though the pay wasn't bad, I just feel like people who do that aren't transparent with their followers and basically scam them for their time. Hey, he said it, not me. I've seen a bunch of other TikTokers who do that. I'm gonna try and find the email they sent me. And he found it. I got my answer. He actually sent me two different emails from two different contacts. And I can't fully confirm that these are both associated with flash rewards, but you will notice that the verbiage is very similar and I had one spicy little hint in there too. Here's the first email. Hey, I saw your TikTok profile and we really liked the content you created. I'm sure you do. You fucking possum. I hate that as an opener in sponsor emails. We really like the content you make. Why are you lying to me? Just talk to me like the whore you want me to be. We were just wondering if you were interested in doing a collaboration with us. We have a few campaigns that I think would be perfect for you. So after this contact asked for a collaboration and tried to set up a call on their calendar without even telling the influencer what the fucking sponsor was, by the way, they break it down like this. Sure. So we are basically a monetization app that will help you earn across all social platforms. The cool thing about working with us is that you don't have to change any of your content or make any ads for us that makes you look like you are selling out the brand. Yeah, don't worry, you won't look like a sellout. Just a piece of shit. Let me know if you would like to give it a try. All you do is install the app and after that, a few more steps, then you start earning. No need to create any crazy advertisements. So, not a lot of work on your guys end. We have guys that are crushing it that's taking home around 5k to 8k USD weekly. Let me know if you would like to give it a try. If it doesn't work out within a week or so, we can put you in our flat rates sponsorship programs do you so like i said given the email thread that was provided to me i cannot guarantee the link between this offer and flash rewards it sounds like it and if we are to assume it is given that 5k to 8k weekly variable income that tells me that you are getting paid more the more people you are able to drive to that site so those aggressive pushes although off-putting potentially paired with more backlash will most likely result in way more money and it appears that they offer a flat rate as well if that initial system doesn't go well and this is now the perfect time to bring up that second email loving the content on tiktok yeah you do would you be interested in promoting apps paid of course just wanted to get your thoughts we have guys being paid three through seven k daily right now so the potential is there with an account like yours thank you for coming back to me so swiftly we operate a little different from traditional methods in the sense that for each follower who downloads an app we pay you so for example 2,000 downloads would be five thousand dollars Paid to you within 24 hours. Influencers who are pretty big on TT are already doing 15K days and more from doing this. So it's definitely worth trying out. Now we got some real numbers. Now we're cooking. But before we crunch numbers, I need to know, at least somewhat, that this offer leads back to Flash Rewards. They give a download link for an app called Stacks, which is not what's being advertised. It looks more like a dashboard for influencers trying to keep track of how much money they're making with the promotions they've selected. And I tried to use that very link to download it, but it was closed off because it ran through Test Flight, which is where you can test apps through invitation. But they gave him a reference link as well. You can see one of our users doing it here. So I typed in that long ass URL, and that TikTok was deleted. But I found the creator, went to her page, and I saw a link in her bio. Look familiar to anybody? Clicking through that for like the gift cards and stuff, you might see something like rewards giant, up level rewards, flash rewards. It's all the same shit. But even with that, still can't guarantee it. 
This email is unfortunately from 2020. So I can't 100% tell you that she was working with the same company then and now. I just think with the similarities in language and the descriptions of what the sponsorship is, it's hard not to assume. <laughs> so I'm doing that. If this offer is in one way or another from Flash Rewards, we finally have numbers. The example given was 2,000 downloads would be $5,000. Anybody a math whiz? That's $2.50 per app download. Which is also interesting because it doesn't matter if you just get someone to click on the link or even fill out their info or even take a 20 minute survey for you to make any money they need to go through that entire process and then download an app also have you noticed a random ass spectrum of numbers being thrown out here all to the same creator by the way we have guys being paid 3k to 7k daily then influencers who are pretty big having 15k days. And if we lump in the other email, we have guys crushing it, taking in 5k to 8k weekly. What? This is the equivalent of saying, yeah, you can make some good money or a fuck ton of money and everything in between, baby. So if I keep being annoying and I do the math on those rates, the first example is making 21 to 49k a week. The second, $105,000 a week. The third, Five to AK a week, stay humble, but also still in the 1%. I understand there's rebuttals to the points I'm making, but as a creator who has gotten taken advantage of, who has had messy sponsorship deals, who has had sponsors that my audience doesn't like, and to this day still holds grudges for being used, it's fucked Manscaped forever. I don't like any of this. From email to influencer, all the way to rewards cash out. Something stinks. Also $2.50 per app, Download sounds odd. Maybe that's the base and that can be negotiated, but a 15K daily with that rate sounds nutty. That's 6,000 apps downloaded from a TikTok or two that you posted, which aren't even always guaranteed to gain traction because everybody's using the For You page anyway. I know influencers got power, but you're telling me five to 6K people looked at your comments or caption, went to your bio, chose a card, filled out info, took slash skipped the survey, and downloaded at least one app in 24 hours? Who was your client? Charlie D'Amelio? I mean, I don't doubt at all that some of the much larger TikTokers are coming away with a pretty good bag from this. It would explain why, for example, at least the biggest TikToker that I saw doing it, who currently has over 5 million followers and growing, would stop working with them and then re-up again later. There's real money there. And even after all of that, I somehow still didn't have the full story. You remember how I said at the beginning of the video that I'm taking you on a journey? I have been getting one glaring thing wrong this entire video, and I didn't find it out until like the end of my research, but I'm glad I did. I was reached out to from this lovely TikToker that I had already spoken to telling me he had a guy in his DMs trying to promote something that sounded like flash rewards. And he asked me if I wanted to get any information out of him. We got a live one and I obviously couldn't resist. Here's the email. My name's Blake and I work for the number one influencer monetization platform called TAP. I saw your TikTok and think you have a ton of potential to earn a lot of money with us. We have many offers that you can choose from and get paid for simply by having a link in your bio. I'd love to send more details and help you start earning by continuing to post the same videos you have been. Yes, can you send me more details? Bet. <laughs> Hey, so it's our app, and I can send you the help walk through it all. It has 50 plus apps and surveys that you can make money from. You get paid for every app install and every survey completion you get. The highest paying apps are $6.50 per install. You get. I had to think quickly. I didn't know how much time I had here. So I quickly sent over some questions that I believed would help fill in some gaps for me. First question, is this associated with flash rewards because I've seen a few of my mutuals work with them? Gotta sound cutesy. Some of our offers are from flash rewards. Second question, are the rates per app solidified or am I able to negotiate those rates? That matters. They are solidified for now. If you drive enough quality traffic to one, there could be a possible rate increase for you. Last question, what is the preferred way for me to advertise this on my TikToks besides just having the link in my bio? I wanna know what they tell you to do. There is a few ways to promote it. Pinned comments, going live on TikTok, captions for your videos, or shouting out the app in videos. What do you mean some offers? Will my followers be directed to flash rewards? How long will I have to have the link in my bio? And what is the preferred way to disclose it's an ad on TikTok since I'm not directly talking about it? Which I fucked up.
on the last question. I was in such a hurry that I, I think I blew my cover. I should have just gone through the notions and waited to see if they even mentioned the ad thing. Because trust me, every brief I've had for a sponsor makes it very apparent you have to disclose it's an ad. But turns out he doesn't even answer those questions and instead he wants to hop on a call. Of course not with me, but with the creator I'm in contact with. Fuck. And as juicy as that sounds, I can't put all this pressure on my guy to do this dirty work. And I can't have a SpongeBob driving test moment where I'm in his ear while he's on the call. So I kind of thought that was going to be the end of that until my guy actually offered the idea of throwing the phone call to me, his manager. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. I got, I got all types of links and slashes in my bio. This is just one of my many new endeavors. And if for whatever reason you think that's immoral, you know how many times you've complained in customer service and Joe Schmo just throws you to the fucking guy that got back from his lunch break in the next cubicle. It's called strategy. So I called him and he didn't pick up. He sent me a text that he was awfully busy and was gonna try and get back to me. I was kind of worried that uh, this was just gonna not happen. And there I was pacing around nervously for like an hour on a Saturday night, just waiting for this guy's call. And then my phone rang. I could not legally record this phone call without his consent in my state. So I didn't, but <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't add another slash in my bio as stenographer would you like to know what we talked about me and josh i had a nearly half hour call with josh and he brought me a lot of information and the worst part he didn't even really know what flash rewards was let me explain so the company reaching out to my client was tap which by their own definition is an influencer network that provides you with everything you need to begin monetizing your social media audience browser catalog of available offers slash promotions to find any that may appeal to your audience from there simply copy your personalized tracking link and post it on your account to begin earning real money and through the conversation we had it hit me right in the face there has been no evidence that flash rewards is the company directly reaching out to these creators. The piece of the puzzle that I've been missing are the third parties involved in this equation. That's why no one has gotten a flash rewards email. That's why when I ask creators, hey, look up flash in your inbox, nothing would ever pop up. It's instead been companies like Tap, companies like Stacks, companies that will give you a personalized link where the creator would then curate apps, games, and surveys, promote it, and then have people download it and give them commission. So the taps and stacks of the world work with many companies, and that list includes Flash Rewards. So let me try and differentiate this so we don't merge the blame for anything here. The majority of this video has been and will be heavy criticism towards Flash Rewards itself. However, this changes a few things because these apps like Tap and Stacks may not have clean hands in the process. One of my biggest gripes with Flash is the way it is advertised. Quick survey, quick money. When that's not what it is at all. And it is instead a deceitful minefield for the uninformed. And it is very possible that Tap, for example, is receiving clear instructions from Flash themselves on how to market it. The same way I would receive a brief from Warby Parker on how to market their glasses. And then Tap just takes those instructions and just gives them to the creator. Obviously not giving a fuck to think like, oh, I wonder if these are really just quick surveys with quick money. It's just, no, it's just, there's no filtering process. There's no QC. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, sure, your company, yeah. Keep it moving. And I think that's the likely option because the guy I spoke to, Josh, began the conversation, text and call, saying, yes, some of our offers are from Flash Rewards. But near the end of the conversation, I very not discreetly kept pushing the questions about Flash Rewards involvement and Josh paused. And then all of a sudden, I was met with confusion. Almost like he knew the name, but he did not know what the hell it was at all. So he asked me, he's like, what, what, what's, what do you mean by Flash? Like, what do you like, what do you mean? And I started to describe it to him to hopefully untwist some wires up there. And I got nothing. He doesn't know what it is, which is not shocking. But I brought up how Flash rewards can offer big sheen rewards or cash app rewards, Roblox rewards. And he said something along the lines of, Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we... We have a DoorDash survey and a Cash App survey that people can take. Almost like he didn't know those were the same fucking thing. He didn't know the survey was actually this rabbit hole of levels of apps and trials to complete because I was explaining them and he was just, I, I'm assuming, mouth agape on the other end. Like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? This guy's getting paid? I think companies like Tap are 
complicit, but how much blame can they really take if they're just listening to instructions? I get a lot of sponsorship offers from third party companies. It's quite common. So just to give an example, the third party company that offered me the dating sponsor app that I thought was scammy as shit, are they to blame for the atrocities I came across while investigating the app? I'm sure I can dish them a bit of residual there, but my target would still very much be the app itself, which in this case is Flash Rewards. Josh actually tried pushing me towards having games in my link. Games like Bingo Clash and Pocket 7 games, which are as simple as download equals money. In fact, I see a lot of creators on TikTok advertise these types of games. Because like I said, the creator can pick and choose what they want to advertise. And I unfortunately have to talk about this because games like Bingo Clash are a tricky bitch. It's one of those games where you can win real money. And Josh was really laying into this cell when we spoke. And me, having such a harsh outlook on these types of games found it comical that one of his legit selling points to me was some games don't even pay you money you don't say josh <laughs> What? Listen, I do not support these apps. I have limited hands-on experience with them. You can read the reviews. They are always somehow rated very well in the app store, but I think we all know that that doesn't really matter. In my opinion, these are just gambling games and the prospect of winning real money is probably the same odds of you hitting the jackpot at the casino. So for that to be such a big selling point for them is just sad. But do I put that onus on the creator advertising it? I don't mind something that's just a gambling advertisement. If a sports book like DraftKings reached out to sponsor one of my videos, I would take that sponsor because I gamble on sports. Gambling can be fun, but obviously you have to gamble responsibly. And I know what I'm getting into with those apps because I know what a fucking sports book is. There can be a dark side there, yes, but that can go for anything, right? Bright sellers could be enabling your alcohol addiction. Grubhub could make unhealthy food binges more accessible. You can apply this logic to most ads, but I'm not gonna criticize Kevin Hart for partnering with McDonald's because McDonald's can be bad for you. We would fucking cancel every celebrity if that was the case. My problem comes down to misleading with misinformation, which yes, advertisers in general can be crafty with their language in their marketing, but Flash is just fucking lying to me. Quick survey, quick money. No, the fuck it isn't. Bingo Clash, win real money. You can, but with that tagline, obviously you might think that it's common or easy and it's not. I would personally not take that sponsor, Bingo Clash. But I don't know how much to point the gun at the creator that does. I mean, this is, after all, the gray area of TikTok money. You forgot? I'll touch more on all that in the end. But let me tell you what else he told me. He informed me that Tap pays out every Monday through direct deposit, which is compliant with the IRS and, you know, it involves tax forms and everything. So it's super legit, which was weird because that's that's the way he described it. Like, oh yeah, so it's legit, like no scam here. That all sounds pretty normal to me. Why'd you, why'd you word it that way? It doesn't matter. He clarified some questions I had too. There are no contracts with TAP specifically. I can opt out whenever. And yes, the infamous pinned comments are supplied by them. And he told me the two best ways to advertise whatever apps you pick or flash are to have those pinned comments, but on a live stream on TikTok. The second way being just straight up promoting it in the the beginning or end of your TikToks, which sounds obnoxious, but sure, I get why it's effective. Ultimately, it is up to the creator as to how they promote it. They can promote it across any social media. And honestly, I do not believe that. Had I not brought it up, he would have told me to disclose it's an ad. So I still don't get that part. I asked and basically spoon fed him the answer like, oh, should I just put like a hashtag ad somewhere? And he was like, Sure. Yeah, knock yourself out. You're crazy. Haha. <laughs> Not definitely do that because otherwise the law will have an issue with us. And again, is that the creator's fault when they're not being explicitly told to do so? I think as a creator, you should be informed and wary when it comes to disclosing sponsorships, but I can't just put that on the creator. There has to be at least a share of the blame there. Anyway, here we are. I've pulled off the manager call, and I think this picture is as clear as I could ask for at this point. So at this point in the script, I was gonna start tiptoeing towards my conclusion, but I felt like I could do better. Like I could just wrap this up so much cleaner for you. And unfortunately, I realized there was only one way to do that. I should legitimately try and claim a reward on this site. To not just bank on terms and assumptions, I need to show you a real experience. I'm running my mouth a lot this video, so this is the perfect neutral factor to introduce. And I obviously don't want to send any of you down the well, so I will be our money-making martyr. 
no burner email, no fake info. Take my data, my personal rundown, I'm going in. So I filled everything out accurately and got to downloading. I was already ahead of the curve because I knew all the tricks of the trade. I could get started on as many deals as I wanted to and I was aware of a lot of the pitfalls. And that's a bias you should be aware of hearing my experience. Level one, I claimed Ancestry.com, 14 day free trial. Easy clap, let me write that down. Level two, Slotomania, the mobile game. I need to make an in-game purchase of at least $5. Okay, well, there's one for $4.99. Guess I gotta just purposely get swindled out of the fear of being deemed ineligible. So $10 in-app purchase it is. Let's go. Level three, I need to do three deals now. By the way, this is where dreams come to die. I got Sempered, donated to Oxfam, paid for ESPN Plus, and downloaded Bingo Blitz. Wait, but that's four deals. I know. Let me explain. Sempered was ordered. Oxfam donated to. And I want to make this clear. I am not going into this trying to spend an absurd amount of money to try and make my point hit harder. Frankly, I don't need to do that. I think I provided more than enough evidence to warrant criticism here. I'm trying to be fairly budgetary and also take the freebies when I can. But I am staying away from some of the more aggressive deals, even if they are supposedly free. Like, I don't want anybody running my fucking credit. You can sell my data and dox me, but don't touch my credit. That's all I have. And I also wanted to try one of the mobile games where I predicted that they're gonna take for fucking ever because if Steve didn't waste hundreds of dollars he had to play some mobile games so let's see how long those take when you're past level two and I did I played bingo blitz and holy fucking dog shit piss on a stick and call me Todd this is egregious I played this game for a half hour straight and even made a 99 cent in-app purchase to help me because I noticed fairly quickly, hey, I'm moving a little slow. So I ended that half hour of playing at level three and I need to reach level 50. Do the math, my friend, do the math. And I'm telling you, I'm trying. So I started playing again for 50 more minutes. Maybe I'll pick up the pace, but I just remember seeing red. I recorded a video when I was doing it. No clue what the fuck I said. Enjoy. So just to clarify what's happening in my life right now, I'm playing Bingo Blitz. It is one of the level three deals on Flash Rewards. One of the ones that said, hey, get to level 50? I think it's 50. I'm gonna go double check because that has sounded more and more fucking insane the more I've played this game. Reach level 50 to earn credit towards your reward. It says buy the 5,000 coin pack for 499 to level faster. First of all, that does dick all. It's not even clarified. I had to look up on YouTube how to like level up in this game because it didn't make any sense to me i've been playing since 1 50 p.m it's 2 24 p.m i just set up the camera right now real quick it's literally fucking bingo so there's nothing i can change about what i'm doing to advance quicker in this game the random youtube video i saw they were like oh you play the slots yo advance faster and i was like what the fuck are the slots and that's what it is it's just a slot machine and you earn plus nine xp every single time you spin the slot for example on level six i need 300 total xp to advance so i don't even know how that's beating anything out at three bingos out of four that has not happened that's been the best game i've had and it still does not fucking matter i'm glad i'm doing this bullshit just so i can prove that like this is horseshit betting the max my total bet is 750 gold coins which are not easy to gain you can buy these this is the 5,000 coin pack they were talking about so i'm gonna do one spin i'm gonna waste those 750 even though totally fucking not worth all i did right there was gain 9 xp i'll spin again see if i win something it's just another plus 9 xp i said there was 350 xp total so if i was at the start of level seven and i wanted to advance to level eight strictly through slots that would be 38.88888 so let's just say 39 spins 39 spins times the 750 coin bet 29,250 coins you would need just to advance one level 29,000 coins just for reference is gonna run you five dollars in game to guarantee to advance one level and not even in that fast a time you can auto spin but like it still takes time 
time. You might as well play this stupid fucking bingo. It's like, this game just sucks. Level 50? Dude, I would complain if it was level 10. This is fucking preposterous. I'm gonna play another game just for reference. And I wanna make sure that we all know what the fuck my XP is right now. 203 XP, level seven. I'm gonna play four cards. Which, by the way, there's another betting unit here. It's like the little blue coins and those are used to just play in. I don't know if I can run out of those. Maybe if I keep having bad games, I run out of those and I have to buy those. But here we go, playing some fucking bingo, baby. I love when that fucking moron said, dude, I've been playing bingo, shit's easy, everybody else sucks. No, they don't. Everybody else is pretty fucking good, actually. You wanna know why? Because it doesn't matter how good you are, you fucking moron. I got two bingos right now. One of them were because of a power-up. However long it took to play that stupid fucking game, I gained a little over 100 XP. To now complete level 8, I need to get a total of 400 XP. You can assume what number that's gonna fucking get to by the time we get to fucking level 50. I can't do this. This is gonna take way too fucking long, and it's not worth the experiment. And I know it's just, oh, just one game. No. They would not put this one random gem where all of a sudden, oh, you can beat this in a fucking heartbeat. That's not how it works, dog. Steve's bitch ass didn't play any mobile games. So I can't even give him that leniency that I gave him in my assumption. So fuck Steve, and I'm just gonna have to waste money and see where that gets me. I I have a hunch that guy was mad. So I gave up on Bingo Blitz and any other mobile game in the future. They're the worst thing you can do to try and progress through this. So I got ESPN Plus. Now let me not bore you because I haven't done that yet. Doing this experience head on, what changed, if anything? Is the experience better than I assumed? Worse? Well, let's start positive. Flash actually verified a lot of my deals awfully quick. Pretty much anything that I purchased on the spot was verified almost instantly. As far as the free trials, they took a couple days to a week to verify. So as far as I could see, I hadn't been pushed to wait till the last day before my trial ended to cancel as I was instructed. Those are the positives, moving on to the negatives. So I am making a video about this in case you haven't noticed. I am documenting my experience. I'm writing down what I'm signing up for, what I'm paying, and around when to cancel those trials before I get charged. And I still was getting lost in the sauce. I was skipping levels just to hit everything quick because that's the best speedrun way to go about it. I passed level one and two, but I was stuck at three, even though I did three deals on level three. So while I was stuck at that point, I was already clearing out five deals on level four and five deals on level five. But like I said, it wasn't verifying ESPN plus on level three. And keep in mind, I was taking breaks in between all of this, AKA living life. So coming back to it and seeing that ESPN Plus was still not verified, I was thinking, am I fucking stupid? Did I actually get ESPN Plus? So I'd go back and I'd check my notes and I wrote down that I did and I checked my account and they took my money. Hello? I'm also bouncing between level four and five, so if I forget to write one thing down in my haste, I don't know what to attribute each app to. Because if you're stuck at level three and jump to level four or five, it doesn't tell you what deals you've done on those levels. The verified checklist that you can check on just has a list of brands, but it doesn't tell you from what level you completed them on and you can't click on them for more info. And you might be thinking, oh, we'll just go to level four. If the wine club thing you completed is on level four, then that's where you did it. Oh. Oh, honey. From my experience, they practically randomize the options thrown at you every time you re-access those levels. It's never been consistent for me. They also still show you companies that you've already completed in different levels, which had me thinking for a second, oh, can I just make multiple donations to Oxfam? Uh, I don't fucking think so. It doesn't say I can anywhere. There's no info on duplicates. I'd assume they'd have to be separate deals to be verified. Why do they even do this? To make you think that and waste your money? Can I just buy 25 alpha brains and call it a fucking day? I really doubt it. It's just disorganized on purpose. I signed up for this Robo Killer app and I just never got the credit for it. I didn't have to pay anything to complete that deal, but after my free trial was near end, they were gonna charge me, so I canceled it. Even though, to the very last minute, it never got verified. Which to this day, I don't know, I felt like I, I did something wrong. And also, guess what, fun fact, a month later, I still got charged and had to email their support to demand a refund so they could actually cancel my account that I fucking deleted, which, 
Why did Flash purposely partner with the worst companies to cancel your subscription with? And by the way, would you like to talk about canceling some more? Fuck me. When going to cancel some things, I realized, wait, I didn't even make an account with this company. I just gave them money, like the donations. I didn't make an account. So I can't just go to my account and stop the donations. I had to email them and keep track of the replies in the pig pen of spam and marketing emails I've been getting drenched in, by the way. Save the Children's monthly donation responded with, We ask for your patience at this time as we are experiencing a high volume of inquiries and requests. Oh geez, really? We have received your email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And you know what's crazy? I believe them. 10 days later, no response. I decided to find their phone number and just call. And what do you know? I got transferred through to somebody in a heartbeat. And you would think the company with the stuffy queue uh, on inquiries and requests would be hard to get a hold of. Nope. That fucking customer support lady must have been bored. Norton Secure VPN like Sammy lied to me saying they wouldn't bill me, so I didn't even need to cancel. But it was actually just being funneled through my Apple subscriptions on my phone, which doesn't show up when you go to the website that was linked to my account. I randomly just found it when I was canceling something else. Is everyone a scumbag? It's a pain. It's meant to set you up. And just check your account, guys. I'm still... To this day, being charged, Oxfam kept taking $20 from me until I fucking sent them another email and I was like, excuse me? Give me my $40 back. And of course they reply to that one. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, I just thought, oh no, you seem really charitable. Give me my fucking money. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. After countless emails back and forth, hopping on a call, hopping into live chat, and just uh, doing a bunch of annoying shit, I have officially qualified for a $500 reward from Flash Rewards. They finally credited everything that I already had on there. So I technically finished this weeks ago, but whatever. I can cash out now by claiming the $500 visa gift card visa gift card uh, uh, need I remind you I signed up for the cash app and it immediately throws me to a visa gift card it doesn't even seem like I have an option I'm not gonna fight that I don't give a fuck I just want my reward by claiming the $500 visa gift card you acknowledge that you won't be able to claim another reward for 60 days that's fine I am never gonna do this again thank you start claim process would you recommend rewards on Facebook uh no <laughs> Your claim will not be submitted until all questions are answered. If you leave this page, you will have to restart the claim process. Okay, so I think I read about this. They're giving me like a trivia game about me now, just to make sure it really is me, the person that just filled everything out. You did not complete the questions in a timely manner. Please refresh and submit your claim form again. I have a timer? Are you fucked? All right, just filling out my information again. I apparently I have the speed run at this time. Submitted, okay. Thank you. Submitted. Be on the lookout for an email from us. There isn't a link here. I just want to make everyone aware of this. Click here to verify your ID. And then it just sends me to the page of the claim ticket. I'm going to contact them. So I just finished chatting with Muhammad and he sent me an email and he was like, this should be the correct link. And I'm like, awesome. Why don't you send that initially? That's weird. Click on this link after you will receive another email. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Great. We have just emailed you security pin, man. I love you guys. Just, I, I haven't been able to see any other emails for three months. Just want you to guys know. Okay. Now we need a selfie. I should probably put my hair up though. In my license, I have my hair up. And I don't want to take any fucking chances and talk to Muhammad for another nine times. We need the selfie to match. Hold your head straight. Do you need me to smile? I feel like I should smile. <laughs> it said stop smiling. <laughs> I want to do a retake. Can I screen record this? Oh no, it made me do all, do all of it again. No. Fuck. Undefined? What's undefined? What the fuck does undefined mean? Does that not look like a fucking ID to you? Undefined? What is happening? <laughs> okay. Congratulations! Your $500 Visa gift card is on the way. In five to seven business days, you will receive an email with your reward. Am I getting a physical Visa gift card or is it an, an electronic one? I don't think that was told to me. Oh, hold on, I got another email just now. Oh, nice, they finally added the deals I wanted them to add. It's, Muhammad already took care of it, thanks guys. I will tell you the total amount of money that I wasted in a bit and it may shock you. But one thing I didn't even consider until now is if you wanna earn this reward, 
you have to have this money readily available to shell out and not have immediately returned for a decent amount of time, especially if you want a physical card. And read the reviews. A lot of the people trying this are down on their luck or could really use the money that they're promising. And that just makes me feel like I wish I had warned that person about what the fuck this is. Anyway, after back and forth emails with customer support because they were not verifying ESPN Plus and they weren't even acknowledging my Oxfam donation, by the way, their customer support is kinda ass. I don't think anybody talks to each other or even puts notes on individual files because when I would talk to another customer support person that wasn't the first person I talked to, they'd be like, hey, who are you? <laughs> What? I pushed through the ranks to earn a $500 reward. That's a total of 15 deals, not the 25 deals you would need for $1,000. Because I figured that at $500, I got the experience that I was looking for. So the time I've spent doing this, signing up for everything, keeping track of my rewards, dealing with customer service, canceling everything as well, because I'm counting that. The time total is hard to pinpoint, especially because I'm working double to also make sure it's documented for viewing. Just off dates alone, I started on March 17th and I cashed my reward April 9th. And I know that doesn't say much, but I can confidently say, Steve, it was well over five to six hours, but I will be very generous and say it was minimum a dozen hours, a dozen dedicated hours that I spent trying to get my reward. Now, what about money? Adding everything up, remember, I didn't go out of my way to purchase the most expensive shit. Because if that was the case, I would have bought that $80 CBD and $65 Fubo TV subscription. I bought stuff that made sense, seemed convenient, and that I might, God forbid, actually use. Like I bought wine, cause I'll drink the wine. Might as well get something out of this. Like every plate gave me dinner that I paired with the wine. Here are photos. Very delicious. And for the weird people that might still be questioning whether I actually did this, it's all here. I'll show you. I mean, some of it's been dispersed at this point, but fucking it's all right here. Fucking shitty. Fucking, I, I got a box cutter. Shitty Amora coffee that I'm not gonna fucking use. Alpha brain. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Just fucking overdose on that. I got some scent bird, one scent bird sample. Really stuck to fucking smell. Delicious. Damn, that smells like a pine cone. Ah! Ugh. I bought it all. And all in all, I spent $201.23. In addition with a minimum of a dozen dedicated hours, a shot inbox, and real stress to receive my $500 gift card. But let's just look at the numbers. I profited $298.77. And in my experience, it averaged out to about $13.42 spent per deal. So if we use that number and apply it to the remaining 10 deals for that $1,000, that would tack on another $134.20 out of my wallet for a total of $335.43 spent, which is the better option in terms of profit if everything stays consistent. That's a big if. So I profited about 60% and could have hypothetically profited about 66% had I kept going. These numbers are also all coming from a seasoned vet. I did all the research before I actually did it. So if I bring in a confidence interval, a standard deviation and multiply it by the critical value, we can assume the margin of error <laughs> I didn't do well in statistics, I'm just kidding. You got turned off for two seconds, you nerd. The money spent will vary heavily on what apps you choose and whether or not you wanna sound your cock off with mobile games. But just know this, Steve is a dirty lying whore and Flash Rewards claims he's real or smart wallet, whatever the fuck, one of the sister companies, they claim he's real. And one last time, wrapping back around, it's not a scam. But fucking Steve is. And something I came, I still smell that scent bird, cheese. And something I came to ponder through all this, regarding the creators. 
because I think this is important. Can we attribute these collaborations with these quasi shady companies to lack of financial support for TikTok creators? I think it's been well known that TikTokers don't get paid necessarily well as a creator. Around the second quarter of 2021, TikTok committed around $300 million over the next three years to the creator fund. That's not a lot. From the creators I've spoken to, it can be a couple pennies per thousand views that you get paid. And the lowest rate for me that I remember on YouTube is like $2 per thousand views. And it's apples and oranges, yes. But if you bring in 100 million views on TikTok in one month, you could scamper off with like $2,000, which is a great amount of money in itself but fucking horrendous for those insane numbers. Those are Mr. Beast numbers, but you're getting paid like the 43rd person that took their hand off the Lamborghini. I do think that's something to consider. There are sponsorship opportunities out there, but the opportunities will vary by creator. I can't definitively say the TikTokers working with these companies are just fueled by greed. Now, are there some that fit that description? Absolutely, but I do believe some if not most, are just either naive, misled, or just not really sure what they're promoting. And at this point, some people might say, well, it's not that bad to promote it. You did it, and you profited regardless of your struggle. But why should I be encouraging my audience to struggle for me to make a quick buck? Why am I leading my fans into this booby trap of advertisements for me to buy a watch? Why am I lying to them about what this really is. This isn't a short survey. You are not explaining what this really is and how to safely and effectively make money from it if you choose to do so. It's taken me this much time to properly explain it all. So if you continue to advertise flash rewards with deceptive persuasion and not actually explain the dark hallway that you're sending your audience down, I'm sorry, you're a terrible person and a terrible creator. Like I said, I know a lot of people are probably just misinformed or uninformed, but if you do know all this, I don't wanna take food out of anybody's mouth, but this isn't the way. And for the TikTok creators that understand that, listen, I get it. TikTokers can't solely depend on TikTok to financially support them. You should never do so regardless. You should always have multiple streams of revenue, but the pay coming directly from TikTok doesn't even seem at the very least fair. TikTok is booming. It is the app right now. How does that make sense? The first four large TikTokers I asked this question, do you think TikTok alone pays you enough as a creator? Responded with, not at all. Nah, not at all. One of them expressed the frustration of their growth coming to a halt after joining the creator fund, which in fairness to TikTok, they've explicitly stated that this is not a thing, although it's odd that they even had to state that. And uh, the fourth creator isn't even in the creator fund because of the fear of having their growth slowed down. It's such a powerful stigma surrounding something that TikTok denies. I feel it's similar to YouTube denying that demonetization does not inhibit a video's success regardless of the countless examples that creators have brought to the table. And on that topic, there is a gray area of YouTube money, but thankfully this is no longer the era of Edubirdy being like the only available sponsor. For those of you that remember Edubirdy, the non-plagiaristic essay writing business. Nowadays, I believe we have so many opportunities and excluding demonetization, the money on the platform is there. Raid Shadow Legends alone can pay all of us so we don't have to fucking try and sell mystery loot crates that have mansions and Ferraris. I think this video can dissuade TikTok creators from pushing this type of shady business to their audiences. But until TikTok pays them at least half of what they should be getting paid, there will always be directions at the ready for the open gateway of the gray area of TikTok money. Thank you for watching this video. Okay. Holy shit! What the fuck? Hey, you've made it to the end of the video. Look at you, you absolute animal. Getting business out of the way here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. All the other videos don't give a flying fuck. Leave a like if you liked it. If you made it this far, come on. You tell me you sat here 90 minutes and you're still like, eh. it's not like you're at the movies. You could have left. 
You could have swiped up. Sorry, I'm emotional. Uh, if, if you're new here, subscribe. I'll throw my patrons on screen in a slow roll here. Yeah, so shout out to them. They're good people. The video's not even done as of recording this. It's 5 p.m. Video is due today. And here I am digging around in the outro. And it sucks because I can't even be like super cheerful right now and be like, it's finally out, guys. Oh, fuck, man. I'm so much stress relieved. Like, because it's not out. Because <laughs> it's still in the fucking laptop. And I still have to review the 90 minute edit. But this has been what has been taking up a lot of my time, distracting me from other main channel content. That's probably why you've been seeing a lot more like casual fun videos as opposed to like in-depth movie reviews or something like that. People have been speculating that I'm just done with those or that, that I fucking fell off or whatever, which, you know, jury's out. But I'm sorry if it was a bit of a jumble fuck too. I've recorded everything at different times, as you can tell by uh, the different faces, clothes, and hairstyles in the video. Regardless, here it is. I genuinely hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't the hee hee ha ha funny fart memes every two minutes, but I've always liked something that I heard from a stand-up comedian. I don't know from where. When you're on stage, you don't need to be funny. You just need to be interesting, which I'm not a stand-up comedian, obviously, but I've always kind of taken that to heart. When I have videos where I'm like, oh, is this like, I feel like it's not funny enough. This has been oddly stressful. I don't know if it's because like real life was just kind of seeping into this as well, just making it like doubly shit. Maybe this is just like the wrong time for me to talk to you guys right now when my mind is still so very cloudy. I do have some somewhat larger projects to, uh, that I want to start working on and I want to keep doing, you know, like the fun casual videos in between, but I want the balance. Lately, I haven't been having the balance except for like the Wendy Goon pick a hand episode, but that's a completely different form of content, which if you don't like that, then it's not, there's no balance. Also go check out the second channel, Mr. G Dubs for extra content. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi and I am out. You ain't gotta breathe, I live on gasoline. Whispers in my head, I'll be louder than my screams. Why can no one hear me? Why can no one hear me? Hey. E e e e Lighting matches, fires burning high, I live on kerosene. I've been